Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. All right, uh, Charlemagne the God here. I've been listening to a lot of things that people have been saying. People always say the Breakfast Club, we lean too far left. Everybody y'all have on is liberal. We do try to get people from the right on, but they just don't be wanting to come on. You know what I'm saying? I think the last person from the right we had on was uh, Bob Huggins, Huggins, who ran for governor in New Jersey. But I have a brave guy who's from the right side of things. Uh, y'all may or y'all may not know him. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Uh, good morning, sir. How y'all doing? This here is Uncle Ruckus. No relation. Uncle Ruckus. Charlemagne, nigga. I, first of all, I don't trust you, number one. You done took the name of a good old white French man and using it for your own niggardry. I don't trust you, Charlemagne. I'll be honest with you. But that's what black people do. We flip and bounce things. You know what I'm saying? We take things that may not necessarily be ours. You know what I'm saying? Or you, take you, things can that stop be- right, you can stop right there. You take things. That's what niggas known for. The taking, the taking, the taking. Who's took more than the white man that you worship, sir? Don't be that guy. Charlemagne, you're making a fool of yourself right now. Lord, the white man has given us so much. And right now, he's given us his greatest gift of all. Mr. President, Mr. President Donald Trump. Oh, Lord. The greatest Lord. gift anybody could ever receive. Okay, I was going to ask you, what do you think about the job that uh, Donald Trump has been doing as president uh, of the United Stella. States? Stella! Stella, the best thing we've ever gotten. You take a man who made all these promises. He going to build a wall and look at it. Most of the wall already up. Most of the wall already up and built. He's helping out the colored folks everywhere. Colored folks ain't, ain't never been happier than they is with Donald Trump right now. That is not true. He, uh, what? What? I mean, co- contrary to your popular belief, you are colored. But I mean, like, you know, uh, you're probably one of the few people who likes Donald Trump, sir. First of all, I am not colored. I am a white man. I happen to be struck with something called revitiligo. It's that same thing that Michael Jackson, that child molester, had, but in reverse. Okay? So let's get that straight, first of all. Second of all, colored people is enjoying the times of their lives. How? <laughs> what are you talking about? How? Look in your bank account, Charlemagne. Look in your bank account, Charlemagne to God. Look at all that money Donald Trump done put in there through the tax cuts. I'm sure you out right now about to get yourself a brand new Cadillac or whatever the hell it is y'all driving now. You out there about to get yourself something nice to eat like a, oh, a shrimp biscuit or something like that, whatever it is you put in your greasy black mouth hole. It's all because of good President Mr. Donald Trump, Mr. President good Donald Trump. Well, the, the, the thing is, uh, I, I'm blessed to be able to make a living, but, I mean, that doesn't mean that everybody is as blessed as I am, you know, when it comes to finances. So it's a lot of things that Donald Trump is doing that, you know, just aren't good for the country. Like, you know, I feel like hate crimes are at an all-time high. Racism and bigotry is at an all-time high because of Donald Trump, sir. Uh, Bigotry. Bigotry. I think you mean niggertry is at an all-time high. There ain't no bigotry going on under President Donald Trump. He done cured racism. We in a raceless society right now. The only bigotry and niggertry you see is what you're doing to yourself. Case number one, Mr. Jesse Smollett. Now, there's a nigga who paid a nigga to beat him. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy seeing any black man get beat down by another black man. But he brought that on to himself. Don't call it bigotry. Call it niggertry. And it's brought on by you. If you look around you right now, you'll just see smiling, smiling colored folks living the dream, living the life that they've always wanted to live. And because of one man, a man whose heart is as big as his hands. Mr. President, Mr. President, Donald Trump's up, Mr. President. I'm really feeling like the only Negroes you be around is Diamond and Silk. No, uh, no, no them, them, them two women I can respect right now. Them two smart colored women. Now, I don't, you, you know me, I don't like colored folks. I got a real problem with them. But Dom, oh, them some smart colored folks. If they, could, if they could go out on a tour right now and teach the rest of y'all how to act, I would pay for it. I'd pay for it for, with, the, with the expansive tax cuts that I got from Mr. President, Mr. President, Donald Trump, Mr. President. So. Let me ask you about a few colored people. Uh, yes, sir. S- since you love Diamond and Silk, what about Candace Owens? Uh, let, me, let me tell you about some colored folks that I will discuss. Because you're trying to get me riled up in here. Let's talk about the pre- colored folks that y'all done nominated to get run for a president. 
Okay. Let's talk about them. Okay. Let's talk about them colored folks. All right, let's talk Mr. about Mr. Okay. Charlemagne the God. All right, what do you th- what do you think about Mr. Cory Booker? <laughs> Even niggas don't like Cory Booker. He got nothing new to say. He looked like what's that f- fella from Key Key and Pill? The tall, light skin that uh, Oh, Key. Yeah, that's Key. He looked just like Key. A uh, matter of fact, I think it's just Key pulling a, pulling a little fake out on everybody. Niggas don't even like Curry Booker. He's done. He's over. He may as well book. Look at his last name and do what it says. Book. Booker. Get out of here, Curry. He ain't got nothing new to have. Okay, what about uh, Senator Kamala Harris? Now, Kamala Harris, I'm going I'm to admit something to you that I, I didn't even want to admit. From the behind view. She looked like a fine white woman with that nice chocolate hair from behind. But when she turn around, you see that the niggardry is strong within Kamala Harris. Oh, she thinks she's slick because she locked up a bunch of black folks, stole them in jail, and got on the good side of us Republicans. She thinks she's slick like that. But I can see through her. I can see through her multinationalism. What is she? What was what, what, what she made up of? What countries went together to make that woman? Um, Jamaican. Uh-huh. Uh, India, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh-huh. Dirty shit, whole countries. Anything else? Uh, Oakland? Yeah. <laughs> the dirtiest shit hole of all. We know if Kamala Harris ain't got a chance in hell. If she could keep her mouth shut, keep turning to the back, and we see that chocolate of hair make me think of she a white woman, then she'll be fine. Other than that, no. Done. All right, I'm, uh, I'm going to ask you about some other Democratic candidates. Uh, what about Bernie Sanders? Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Look, here's what y'all niggas need to do. First of all, if you're looking for a Sanders, y'all may as well be voting for Colonel Sanders. Because that's the only way he's going to get any vote. He is a crazy man. He is insane. Look, the problem with big government, it gives too much stuff away, all right? Health care for all. Now, that would be fine, except the colored folks going to take it. If it did not include colored folks, then I would just think it's fine. But to be honest with you, health care for all, what does that mean? People going to live longer. That means colored folks going to live longer. We do not need a world where colored folks out here living as long as a good white man. Colored folks supposed to do what colored folks did in the past. Die about age 53. You're done. Leave it over to the white man to take care of. You know, no, I, you know, now that I think about it, Uncle Ruggers, you you the first transracial. Like, before Rachel Dozal and, you transracial. know. Transracial. Yeah, before Rachel Dozal and before the little girl from Dr. Phil's show, you you was the black person that, that thinks they was born white, really, just in the wrong body. Once again, I am a white man, and I have I've been stricken with revitiligo, so I keep getting darker and darker and darker every year. But science cannot lie. That is absolutely not true what you just said. If you was to count my DNA right now, it would spell out the word white. Science don't lie. Unless it comes to something like global warming, something like that. Then it's just all a bunch of bullshit run by the Chinese. But science do not lie. I am a white man. But I do thank you for appreciating me for who I am. I think getting darker and darker every day is a blessing. Ah, that's a case. Ooh. One of the biggest cases I ever struck upon man. What do you think about Elizabeth Warren, sir? Elizabeth Warren. Oh, you you talking about that uh that Native American, that beautiful Native American woman? Yes. First of all, had she not lied about being Native American with her beautiful, smooth, sexy white skin, I could see me getting behind her. I could see me laying beside her. But she lied to the American people. And that's one thing Donald Trump never did. He never told a lie. He liked the original George Washington. Oh, I Lord. cannot tell a lie. But she lied to the folks. Said she was a Native American so she can get all kind of good Native American things and a discount on whiskey like Native Americans do. So I cannot support her for running for government. But I could sexually support her if she want to call me. <laughs> so uh, I assume you just think Donald Trump is a shoe in for 2020. It sounds to me like you don't think he has no competition on the other side. There has never been competition for Donald Trump. There has never been competition. Donald Trump is the kind of man, when the doctor tried to pull him out of his mama's vagina when he was being born, he said, no, thank you, Mr. Doctor. I can do this myself. He's like a superhuman with super beautiful hair. There is no competition for Donald Trump. Do you think he, In gra- fact, do you think he grabbed it, his mama's vagina on the way out? Don't, 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 don't do that. You know that's not real. You know that was something that somebody set up to make it sound like Donald Trump. Plus, I got to be honest with you. If I was a woman 
the first thing I would do, I would go, call Mr. Donald, President Mr. Donald Trump, sir, up, and I would say, excuse me, sir, if you have time, would you like to come and grab my vagina? To be, have your vagina grabbed by somebody as great as Donald Trump is one of the biggest gifts that any woman could receive. But I don't think he did it. But if he did, it would be one of the biggest gifts that any woman anywhere could ever receive. No, that's actually called sexual harassment, sir. Sexual assault, not when it, brother. Not, not, not when it's done by somebody as good as he is. Would you let him grab your dick? Uh, excuse me? I said, would you let him grab your dick? I, I, I guess I would. I hope that don't sound wrong, but... Uh, I guess I would. Okay, Uncle Rod. I, ne- I, I actually never, I never thought about that before. I, I'm just saying that if 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 Donald Trump came to me and said, "This is a case of national emergency. In case of a national emergency, may I grab your, <laughs> may I grab your dick, Ruckus?" Then I suppose I would for our country, for our country. I suppose I would let Donald Trump grab my dick in case of a natural emergency. You know, it's like if you're walking down the hallway and you see that that little fire thing on the thing said. Use a hammer to break the glass in case of emergency yeah. on the fire extinguishers. And then I would say, use Uncle Ruck, grab Uncle Ruckus by the dick in case of. If it was a natural emergency, then the answer is absolutely yes. And I suggest you do the same. I think that you was very jealous. Something tells me you was very jealous when you saw Kanye in the Oval Office hugging on Donald Trump, calling him daddy. I will be honest with you. When Kanye did that, I thought he may be the smart, other than Diamond himself. The smartest colored man I have ever seen in my whole life. Maga, my nagger. Maga, my nagger. That's all I could think about. Then he done went and switched screens. Then I can't, I just don't trust him no more. But for a time, for a time, I will be honest with you, I was jealous. I remember falling down to my knees one night and just praying to white Jesus up above. Please, white Jesus up above. Please. Just for a moment, let me have the grace and beauty that Kanye West has sitting there in the Oval Office across from our good president. Just talking truthful talk, talking smart man talk with the smartest man in the world. I ain't going to lie to you. I have human emotions, and that was one day that I did shed a tear in hopes that I could be Kanye West just for a day. Lord have mercy. In fact, I wrote a book called Kanye for a Day. Okay. Uh, do you think America is ready for a woman president, Uncle Ruckus? No, sir, I do not. And why not? Women, women, don't have, women don't have the mental facilities that a white man has. Lord have mercy. White mans can think about so many things at a time. White man can run a computer, and while he's writing with his left hand with an ink pen, and he's Googling something on the computers with his right hand, and then he's using his other hand, hand to pay, pay people who are working for him. White man has a more developed brain. I don't know if you know anything about bumblebees, but bumblebees got complex eyes. They can see in all kinds of different ways at once. White man's got complex brains. They can see things you couldn't possibly see with your little Negro brain. Things that you don't know is coming at you. The white man can already see it. The white man is omnipotent. The white woman is not. The colored woman is not. But here's the hierarchy for president. Got to be a good white man. Then, second, if ain't got no good white man, then a good white woman can take place with the guidance of a good white man. Third, nobody else. Barack Obama proved that a colored man cannot run the country. That is not true. Barack Obama was one of the greatest presidents of all time, sir. The white side of Barack Obama did all right. The nigger side fucked us up. You know, man. Something's wrong with you, Uncle Ruckus. Do you, do you, do you, I ain't nothing wrong with me. And I, I'll tell you one thing. I've been working for Trump for a while. Trump sent me to Hawaii to find Barack Obama's uh, birth certificate. I'm the one who find Barack Obama was a Nigerian or a Cancunian or whatever the hell he is. He's had. not Nigerian or Cancunian. He's from Kenya. Uh-huh, Cancunian. Do you think He's that, a Cancun. He's a Cancun. How do you feel about Nigerian since the Jesse Smollett situation? Oh, but I, I will say this. I've always said that the Nigerians was the biggest threat. You got a country, Nigeria, that's basically got the way nigga in the name. We already know where they're coming from. But once again, I cannot be angry with somebody who is beating up another colored man. And I do propose, like Jesse Smollett, that he come out with a brand of neckties that just look like nooses hung around your neck.
Well, Burberry Y'all did that. Have sir. Say that again. Burberry did that. Burberry has the, the shirts with the noose around the neck. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to put all my money in Burberry. All this expansive tax refund that I'm getting because of Mr. President, good Mr. President, Donald Trump, Mr. President. So I'm putting it all in Burberry and just regular nooses for niggas. Have, Nigga nooses. Have, have, you, have you ever watched Empire? No, sir. I do not watch colored shows. So I watch white shows. What's your favorite I, show I, on I, TV then? Fox News. That's, that, 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 that's, that's the best show on television. Okay. Uh, I'm you, sorry. I'm sorry if you, you can't handle the truth. Why? If Fox, you can't handle a good Tucker Carlson, because they speak nothing but the truth. They don't speak. They don't even know how to lie. I think when they go to Fox, they have a gene removed for lying out of their brain. All they do is tell the truth. I don't mean, believe in color shows. Sent, sent good times. Good time was the last color show that made any sense. Why? Because I got to see colored folks living in poverty and just having a good time, which is what colored folks enjoy to do. This is this is Uncle Ruckus, and he is actually black, but he will not admit that he's black. I don't know why you keep saying that. Uh, you, you know what's interesting? You've always thought that R. Kelly was guilty. What do you think about him getting charged with 10 counts of sexual abuse? I will say this about R. Kelly. First of all, you shouldn't do what he did. But second of all, at least he had the common decency and sense not to make love to or piss on any white children. Now, that I appreciate. Leave the white children alone. So with that said, you probably hate Michael Jackson then. I am not a fan of his. And I do think that nature is not kind. Nature gave Michael Jackson, that little child, that's from Michael Jackson. Nature gave him Vita Ligo, which made him go from being a colored man to a beautiful, beautiful white man. And here I am with the exact opposite. I am not pleased that nature messed me up like that and did something good for a child molester and could not help me out. So I'm a little bit jealous of Michael Jackson. Jesus Christ. No, don't, don't say Jesus Christ without saying good white Jesus Christ. Let me, let me ask you about a few more people. Uh... Juan Castro, what do you think of him? How in the hell are we going to have a country like the good old United States of America with a Mexican president named Juan Castro? I mean, what are we going to do? Build a wall around the Oval Office? That ain't right. I won't stand for it. Juan Castro. I am not ready to pay for stuff in dineros or, or, or whatever that Mexican money is called. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for a taco truck on every corner. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for free or almost free home care in my house or somebody coming by cleaning every two weeks and making sure that everything is put away in my house. But they speak Spanish. I ain't ready for that. I speak American language. What about Joe Biden, sir? Joe Biden, for a while, I thought he was something. He was a decent white man. Then he went and worked for that damn Barack Obama, that Kenyan coon. Once he did that, I realized Joe Biden ain't worth nothing. Look at him. He was a sidekick to a colored man. A sidekick to a colored man. Listen to that. That don't sound right. Look, white folks ain't supposed to be sidekicks to colored man. Colored folks supposed to be sidekicks to white man. Look at Lethal Weapon. We should have learned that in that story, which was a true story, by the way. That's how sidekicks work, not the opposite way around. I, I just don't understand how you love Donald Trump when he lies so much, bro. Donald Trump has never lied. Tell me one lie Donald Trump ever said. If you tell me a lie that Donald Trump ever said, one lie, I will kiss Kamala Harris straight on the lips. I'm not, I'm straight not, on I'm him. not even going to sit here and waste my time because saying Donald Trump is not a liar is indeed a huge lie. Okay. okay, so you, oh, you can't think of nothing, can you? Can you, Charlemagne? Oh, you you thought enough to have uh, your birth certificate name to a French name, but you can't think of nothing because Donald Trump has never lied in his whole lifetime. You, you just lied about, you know, the, the whole the Barack Obama being a birther is a lie. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Barack Hussein Obama is a Kenyan coon, okay? He was not born here. He's straight out of Africa. I'm surprised he's even able to put some English language together. He don't have the smooth voice like a Donald Trump guy. That is not a lie. Donald Trump proved it and made Barack Obama apologize for being a foreigner in our country. Donald Trump is a great man. What do you, what do you think about, uh, you know, D Donald Trump's uh, administration having over 30 plus indictments, sir? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How many indictments do Donald Trump have? Say that again. His How many do he have? His administration has 30 plus, sir. 
Oh, I'm sorry, but how many does Donald Trump have? Zero now, but it's there. That's exactly right. Because nothing can, you know, when you got somebody as pure heart as Donald Trump, he like Jesus Christ. Remember how Jesus Christ surrounded himself by, with, 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 with people who was beneath him, like prostitutes and stuff like that? Donald Trump is like that. He's trying to help all them people up, help all of the downtrodden. He said, bring me your pole. Bring me your hungry. Bring me your all of that stuff as long That's as they not what, That wasn't tr Donald Trump that said that. Yeah, Donald Trump said that. Bring me all them people as long as they white. And he surrounds himself with some ne'er do wells and never do wellers. He surrounds himself with that, but that is only to lift them up and help them. Every person who been indictment, every one of them was somebody that Donald Trump was trying to help lift up by the boot scraps. There's an old poem about Donald Trump. There's a man walking on the beach, and the man only see one fair footprint. And the man says, excuse me. I thought you was going to be there for me. Where's your pair of footprints? And Donald Trump said to the man, those are my footprints. I was carrying you the whole time. Uh, uh, that, that, that was God, not Donald goddamn Trump, Uncle Ruckus. You just said his middle name, Donald God Trump. Uh, okay. okay? Right. Donald when, J. When, Trump, the J stand for Jesus. When the last time you talked to Trump, man? I know you, I know you work for I him. I talk to him every day. I talk to him every day. I'll give him a call sometime. I, we'll be laughing about something that we see on, on color, like a colored news show. We're like, oh, another black man found guilty of, of doing whatever black folks do, and we'll laugh about that. Oh, Lord, I talk to him all the time. I got a pillar, a pillar in, in, my, in my bedroom with his face embroidered on it, on the pillar next to me. And every night before I go to sleep, I say good night to that pillar. And I say a prayer for America and how great he has made it again. Charlemagne, I'm, don't you feel happy that we great again? Shut up, Uncle Ruckus. I'm, I'm, I want to end with this question. Yes, sir. Uh, what do you think about some of the Democratic candidates saying they agree with some form of reparation <laughs> for African Americans? <laughs> reparations. rap a -ration. Let me tell you something. I do believe in reparations. Really? I believe in it. That's a surprise. For the white man. <laughs> the white man... He brought y'all over him. He brought y'all over here in a fine ship. He gave you a meaning for day's work. He gave you food to eat. He gave you exercise. And what have y'all given him? What have y'all given him? Oh, look, hey, you gave him. You gave him crime. You gave him drugs. O.J. Damn Simpson and Whoopi Goldberg. That's what y'all gave him. He deserves reparation. I suggest this. I suggest all y'all niggas, after y'all get off from work today, if you got a job, I suggest you stop by the check cashing place and cash your check and then send that money straight to Donald Trump and he will deal it out over the white, over the white nation. Yes, reparations for sure, but for the white man. So I appreciate reparations. Now I am reminded why we don't really have people from the right on too often. Uh, this is Uncle Ruckus. He's, no. a, he's a racist author nope. and radio yeah. host yes i am he's the leader of the fastest american populist republicans i actually gonna start calling myself a race i'm and not racist i'm gonna be raceless because there's only one race and that's the white race so the rest of them don't even matter it's raceless i'm a raceless that's why i'm a, i just coined, coined that term today i'm a raceless and i don't see races as long as they white and i guess i should congratulate you on being the county executive for woodcrest county maryland did yeah, that would be nice. I do have a new position in Woodcrest. The white folks have trusted me and entrusted me to run their country, run their county, and to make sure that colored folks stay exactly where they belong, out of sight. Uncle, Uncle, Ruck, Uncle Ruckus, have a blessed day, sir. You too. Hey, MAGA, my nigga, MAGA.